Hey tubes. Got some pretty in here for you today. Uh, just a rainy day outside, so I thought I'd do something inside. Since I haven't done any videos in a while, I thought this would be something good to do. So what we got here is uh, basically uh, a real, fully functional, working model steam engine. And uh, we're going to show you how it works. Alright, so now that we got that going, I don't know whether, yeah, you can see the flame going in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, but either way, I'll show you. I got a couple of attachments for it. You got like a grinder here, grinding wheel, and a uh, buffer, and a little table saw here. And the table saw, if you, it'll even cut toothpicks. It's isn't real impressive, but it's still cool. So either way, like, yeah, like I said, it's it's fully functional. It works just like a steam engine. It's heating up right now. Uh, boiling the water there so the steam just flows through there flows through the center pipe and it comes uh, into this cylinder here the piston and it'll drive this back and forth uh, this right here changes the angle which changes how much steam it, re it receives and that changes the speed and then finally the extra steam goes through these two into here and it makes it look like there's smoke coming out of the uh, stack so I think, I, personally, I think it's the neatest thing. I really do. But uh, I don't use it that much. So I figured today would be a good day to use it and show you guys. So, you see it's still heating up, but we'll be back when it gets hot. Alright, so I can hear it starting to boil. And I don't know, you can see in the window it's jumping around a little bit. So I think it's almost hot. And another thing I'll show you, it's kind of cool. It's got a little whistle here, so you just tug on that. That's neat, huh? So uh, we're going to see if it'll run now. Uh, actually you can see some, well, I can see some steam blowing by here. I think you can too. So I think it's ready to go. Some water dripping down, see if it goes. There we go. How about that? Oh, too slow. A real working steam engine. Right on my desk. You see now, uh, let me change the angle right here, you can kind of see, there's steam coming out there. I think that's a real cool feature. You can't really see it though. But, uh, there you have it. And then I've got some, uh, belts. I can hook one of these attachments up. I think that's what I'll be next. But, you can see how these things burn. They burn pretty good, and I think it's almost time to put another one on. But you can see, as soon as I took that out, it started to slow down again. It's like if I blow the horn, it'll slow down. Alright, so we got the belt hooked up here now, and uh, I just put another, uh, what do you call it, uh, another another tablet in there, so it's burning pretty good. So I want to get it going before it blows up here, but I just want to show you, I think another reason for having the, uh, the spring belts is so you can keep tension on it, but luckily they don't need a whole lot of tension. Uh, I should do is bolt it down to something, a board or whatnot, but it does all right as it is. So we're gonna get this started now. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure behind this. It takes some to turn it. Now it doesn't even want to. There we go. That's going the wrong way. You see now, now uh, it has more steam. It takes less, uh, less steam to get it going because there's more pressure. But you can see the steam pretty much everywhere uh, it's tough to see with the camera though it's coming out of the chimney there we got the uh, got the grinder running good there we go see I mean it runs real smooth and obviously uh, there, there's a fair amount of torque respectively coming out of there so it doesn't even notice right now I'm probably just slipping the belt though yeah that's exactly what I'm doing if I have more tension on it though, it might, something might happen. If I pull this tighter. And then put my finger on it. Now, oh well. But it's just something cool, you know? Something to play with. There, you can see the steam there. I don't want to keep blowing it because it's pretty noisy actually. But, you know, that would be something you'd all like to see. 
actual working model steam engine. Alright, enough of this.